I have supercharged my minivan. Today I am super excited to be checking out this 2015 Toyota Sienna with Ken here. So what exactly are we looking at right here? It is my daily driving family van with uh, some modifications. Yeah, I can tell. It doesn't really look stock. Uh, I figured if I'm going to have to have a van, I might as well make it look cool and yep. uh, drive fun. Yeah, that's so. sweet. So as far as modifications done to this thing, what do you got done? From the outside, you can see that it is slammed to the ground. Uh, <laughs> it's got uh, air suspension. It's got 20 inch wheels, 245 wide tires, okay. uh, six piston. Brakes in the front with 17 inch rotors. Wow. And uh, you may ask, why do I have brakes that big? <laughs> because I have supercharged my minivan. It has a Eaton TVS 1320 supercharger with a smaller pulley, so it, it gets down. Yeah, uh, <laughs> no kidding, oh my goodness. So it also has a custom Valvetronic exhaust, diamond stitch floor mats, 20 inch drop down TV for the kids, plus a Pioneer 7600 NEX in the front for the adults. Lots of cool stuff done to this van, so. Yeah. Yeah, that is sweet. For the modifications you just mentioned, can you go into detail, like who makes what a little bit? The air struts are air runner struts from Japan. Okay. Uh, and then I have the airlift 3P slash H uh, management system. The air tank is hidden where the spare tire is. The air compressor and the manifold are hidden behind the front bumper. Because I use this as a daily driving, you know, dad van, yep. I do have two kids that I have to be able to put in there along with the rest of my family. So I have everything hidden and tucked away so I can still have full use of the interior of the van. Nice. Uh, so the seats still go up and down like they're supposed to. I can take them out if I need more room. I don't have to worry about damaging any of the air suspension components. The big brake kit, is from a 2023 Lexus RX350F. Uh, wow. It is almost a direct bolt-on onto the Sienna with one minor modification. So as far as the build, do you know approximately how much the build is costing you, like what you put into the van? I'm afraid to answer that question because <laughs> my wife might get mad at me. <laughs> Fair um, but this has taken two years. Uh, okay. Me and my high school students uh, built this van over the last two years. I've probably got in the five figures, I would say, into this van with the supercharger, the air suspension, all the interior bits. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good enough answer. Yeah. <laughs> so this thing has a supercharger. Let's talk power. What kind of specs does this thing have? This is a 3.5 liter V6. A lot of people don't know this, but uh, the Sienna shares the same engine as the Lotus Evora. And oh, wow. so the supercharger is the Eaton TVS 1320. Uh, that they use for the Lotus Evora that I've slightly modified to fit on the Sienna. A company called Monkey Wrench Racing helped me do the dyno tuning and it is tuned with uh, D3 Performance software. It is over 320 at the wheels. Okay. So wow. from the factory, they're about 200. Okay. So they say in the pamphlet, it's like 266, but that's oh, yeah. typically at the crank. And then with parasitic loss, you're probably at around the 200 range. Yeah. But this is dynoed at over 20, or over 320 at the wheels. Dang, that's so, amazing. Yeah. <laughs> I have made some uh, performance car owners very upset getting beat by a minivan. My uh, high school goes to the high school drags at Milan Drag Strip uh, twice a year. So I take this out there uh, because my high school students built this. So oh, yeah. almost every modification that's done to this van was done by high school students. This year, we're hoping to up the power closer to the 400 range at the wheels, if not higher. <laughs> the eventual goal is to be over 500. So, Woo! and then long-term goal, I'm not gonna say long-term goal, but it's gonna be crazy. <laughs> yeah, I bet, yeah. I believe it. So you've had this for a while now. Mm -hmm. If you had to pick one thing that's your favorite thing about the van, what would that be? My favorite thing about the van is the air suspension, oh, honestly, yeah? just because I like pulling up and just slamming it to the ground. <laughs> because people already look at the van and go, oh, it's just a Sienna. And then they look at the wheels, oh, somebody put wheels on a Sienna, whatever. <laughs> and then you hit the air suspension and they go, what's up with that Sienna? <laughs> yeah, so, <laughs> that's awesome. You know, yeah, that's, no that's the big standout feature of this thing, mm -hmm. which is cool. Yeah, 100%, it's low. If you had to pick one thing that's your least favorite about the van, what would that be? My least favorite thing about the van, that's kind of hard, because uh, I've put a lot of time into this van. Yeah. And uh, my least favorite thing right now would probably be the sound system, which hopefully mm. I'll be rectifying here pretty soon. Okay. Um, 
Um, I did change the radio, but the door speakers and everything are pretty much the same. And I feel like with the 20 inch drop down TV, I gotta have like full theater treatment in there. So <laughs> oh, yeah. I am working with an audio company right now trying to plan out the sound system build for this. Hopefully in the next year or two, it'll have a really good sound system too. So Nice, that's amazing. Yeah. Sweet. Well, shall we take it on a spin? Oh yeah, definitely, let's go. All right, let's go. Crap, that scared me. I told you it's louder than the ex MR2. I was not expecting that. <laughs> yeah, my daughter loves it. She calls it uh, Dad Dad's Loud Band. <laughs> a minivan. Yeah. No way. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. What? <laughs> this is a heavy van too. Yes. <laughs> it is uh, about 5,000 pounds. Oh jeez. Uh, I think it weighs close within a couple pounds of like a Challenger. The sound is amazing. A, yeah. So you said that's a custom exhaust. Yes, so Valtronic uh, is a company that sells uh, exhausts that you can uh, change the tone of. So I have a button okay. that I can make it quieter or louder, mm. uh, which is nice for, for my wife. Yeah. Because I can press a button and when we're driving on long road trips or driving with the kids in the car, I can have it quiet oh, when yeah. I'm by myself or I want to make people feel bad, press a button <laughs> and go to town. You see all the, the Mustang guys and Sport Compact guys, you give them a little bit and they're just like, no way. <laughs> oh, wow. Give it a launch, see what it's got. Yeah, let's see. behind his product what the <laughs> heck is that if i launch it it tricks sets off the track control and it's not happy <laughs> yeah i bet so, that just shuts you down yeah yeah everybody that just saw that is probably really confused right now <laughs> <laughs> sound I think that's the best part I think that's my favorite part right now the exhaust the yeah. exhaust Based off of cars that I've raced at the drag strip, I know this car is faster than a G37. Okay. And uh, from a roll, it'll keep up with the Mustang GT. Wow. So. Wow. Uh, it's not a slouch by any means. No. No, <laughs> not at all. It is a fun car to drive in. It's so big. There's tons of space. Oh yeah. But. It throws you back still, and it's a blast to ride in still. Yeah. The other crazy thing about this is, uh... <laughs> the other crazy thing about this is, uh, it's all stock internals. Oh, really? Yeah, I didn't have to do anything to the inside of the engine. Wow. Uh, because Lotus did the same thing with this engine. They put the same supercharger on there. Oh, yeah. Um, I know if I have to go higher than the power that I'm at right now, I'm going to have to do head studs. Yep. And I'm going to have to do charge cooling and stuff like that. Um, I know my intake is not the best intake, um, but it wasn't really meant for this van. Yeah. So <laughs> it's just kind of sitting in the engine compartment. It's a hot air intake. I'm not really a big fan of it, but I am working on getting some charge cooling. Okay. I'm hoping to have a uh, water cooling here. That's the, awesome. So you can just throw a supercharger on here as yeah. it is. This is definitely more fuel efficient. My average before the supercharger was about 17, 18 miles per gallon. Now I'm averaging about 25, 26. That's a huge difference. Yeah. Well, thank you. Yeah. I appreciate it. No problem. <laughs>
If you made it this far in the video, please smash that like button and subscribe. And if you like what you just watched, you're definitely going to want to click on this video next.